Welcome to a session on group discussion. Group discussion is an integral part of any selection process and perhaps it is one of the most intriguing one too. The number of queries that we field in the segment of group discussion is more than any other field. The students are worried about what could be the norm in a group discussion, how should they perform in a group discussion, what is the moderator looking for in a group discussion. So let us reflect upon the basic evaluation component in a GD. Knowledge, communication skills, group behavior and leadership skills. These could be the four basic evaluation component. When I talk about knowledge, the panel is actually looking for the number of ideas one puts forward consistently. They also look for the depth of analysis in the ideas that have been put forward and whether anyone else has built up on the idea. Time sharing and orderly conduct is also important in a group discussion. Now what happens is, there may be a group which is quiet and we have just a couple of members of the eight who actually know the topic or feel comfortable talking. In such a case, perhaps a moderate tone, a moderate pace and the number of ideas and the number of time you pitch in would not matter. The panel also observes your body language and how you negotiate through a difficult turn and how flexible you are, how you behave when you accede a point. So let's get back to the basic evaluation component knowledge. When you put forth an idea, you should be aware of its impact. Have you logically analyzed it for a short term impact or a long term impact? Has it been surveyed, viewed, analyzed for a micro view of the situation or a macro view of the situation? The panel would also view the members, watch the members for organizing the GD. There could be one idea which has been put forward and then after some time there could be some idea which has been, which may have a bearing on an idea which was put forth earlier. Now if you show that sharpness, that agility of combining the two ideas and maybe a short summary of what has transpired in between the GD itself. It gives the impression that you have been an active listener and you are trying to put the GD or steer the GD in a logically structured manner. So, Ability to generate, analyze and organize ideas creatively is one of the aspects in group discussion and one of the aspects on which the panel would be observing you. Provide wider base to the discussion. Communication skills is another aspect which whether we like it or not does have an effect on our group discussions. Now here I don't say that you cannot raise your pitch a little bit. It's very important and there may be a chance when you, should, when you will have to raise your pitch. Let us suppose we have very aggressive members or rather let's use the term assertive members in our group and everybody wants to pitch in at the same time. Over there what should you do? How would you if you are not as aggressive as them? Make your pitch. What I propose is, 
put your hands up and perhaps raise your voice in that cacophony itself and say, may I? I do have an idea to propose. Now what happens is, you could say it might appear rude. But tell me what is more important in a group discussion for a selection process. You have to be heard. If you are not heard, you have not participated in a GD. Perhaps the moderator or the panel would give you a mark on active listening or participation. But we don't want that just one mark, right? So, communication skill is very important. How you would present your ideas in a GD is extremely important. Be an active listener. And whatever you propose, that must have some clarity of thought. Tone, fluency and voice modulation go a long way in establishing you as an active member, active participant in a group discussion. If you start gesticulating a lot in a GD, it comes across as aggressive. Now, there are moments when you do this or there are moments when you say, now what happens? This would go to show that you are not comfortable with other person's opinion. Even if I am not comfortable with the other person's opinion, I would say that, okay, fine, perhaps you could be right, but should we not go about it in this manner? Should we not also explore this particular thing rather than doing This is like demeaning the other person's opinion and we are not there to do it because as I said, group discussion is a platform where you would need to share ideas, where you would need to share knowledge, exchange ideas, generate ideas. So during the course of generating ideas, we could come across some apparently random ideas. So honor it. Eye contact again is extremely important in a group discussion. I mentioned that leadership skill again is a very important aspect of group discussion. How do you become a leader? You would need to encourage the quieter member of the group. So do you do it by taking the needs? Mr. So and so? No. That person may not be comfortable speaking at that particular moment or that person may not be comfortable at all talking about that topic. He may not have garnered enough material to talk about that particular topic at that particular moment. So what you do is, you do it through your eyes. You may be, you may have just generated an idea, explained an idea. Now, when your voice starts falling, which will be the case, when you are about to end your sentence, you could actually move your gaze and fix it on the person. Stay on that person for some time. The group will get an idea that this is the time allowed to that person to talk or rather not allowed. This is the time which the person can utilize in bringing out his point. Wait for maybe 10 seconds and then resume the GD. While presenting ideas, do not beat around the bush. Be clear, correct and concise. At times you have seen that students give facts in the group discussions and then there is someone else to rebut it. Whatever facts you present in a group discussion should be tested and you ought to be confident about those facts. Moving on to leadership skills, what makes somebody a leader in a group discussion? Not initiating a group discussion. It is not necessary that somebody who initiates a group discussion will be the leader out there. No. You need to have a functional knowledge of certain things. You need to have functional ability, knowledge, integrity, objectivity. Knowledge of the content of the topic is definitely important. 
when I say integrity and objectivity, what I mean is he should be unbiased. When he is developing a point, it should be, he should be exploring it and he should be judging it on the merit of the point. He should not be partial. In a group discussion also, we tend to form groups. Let us not be partial there. Forming group does not serve our purpose. You need to be coordinating. There has to be an adaptability and you should see that all the members of the group get adapted. Polite thrust towards participation. I have already spoken about that. Do it with your eye contact. Let the quieter member in the group discussion feel comfortable. Give him opportunities so that he may also contribute to the group discussion. Another very important aspect in a group discussion could be ability to deal with hostility and tense situation. Unless and until we get into those tense situation, a GD is not successful. Now, I am not really serious about that, but then the moment you get creative, the moment you get passionate about a subject, it is only then that you come up with what is there in your heart, your inner feelings. And believe me, when you participate so intensely in a GD, watching your voice modulation and the polite aspects of a GD, of communication, it is then that a GD, a group discussion becomes successful. Leadership skills and leadership qualities. A group may require an authoritative leader if all the group members are very aggressive. You know, if you are high on lung power and maybe because of that, the logic that comes across is low because you are there trying to mute, rebut anyone else's point. In that case, the leader has to be authoritative. By saying that the leader has to be authoritative, I do not mean that he should be controlling everybody. No. But he should see that the GD is being staged properly, is steered properly. An amiable leader to a group discussion is a bonus because then every member of the group is comfortable and the discussion is fruitful. Friends, on that note, I would like to reiterate that whenever you go for a group discussion slated for a selection process, brace yourself on these four fields, knowledge, communication skills, leadership skills and group behavior. Thank you very much.